you've earned it now. If you want to earn something, you have to do something. Everybody wants to work for the boy. Don't you? Okay. Well, let's get a look at you. I told the woman I had some work, but I was hoping. Well, who knows what I was hoping. They called me the boy. Pretty big, ain't you? Slow, I bet, too. I bet I could have a good for you even blank. That's why I'm the boss and you're the lackey. I do everything twice as fast as everybody else. At 15, I've done more than most men at 30. If I make it to 30, I bet I'll be president. You can take that to the bank. Now, what was I talking about? Work. That was it. Fellows I know got to run them with the law. They got caught robbing a stage. There's a posse after them. They're going down to Limpin. Get them out of there. I'll pay you, okay? Make this lackey thing official. How's about that? All right? Good. Don't get after them, lackey. Come on. That's the spirit. Go! <laughs> عنديش انا نديرو لها الميسيون تاعو نشوف كيفاش ما يعطينا Yeah. 
Thank you for agreeing to meet with me. Perhaps you have already guessed what I wish to discuss. The word Capitale does not mean anything to you? Huh. For some time now, the organization that I represent has been using a unique system of exchange for our more sensitive business dealings. This we call Capitale. Private bonds with their value guaranteed by the reputation and considerable resources of my employer. It's a more uh, civilized way of doing things. Until every cutthroat and gutter trash got their filthy hands on them, it cannot be allowed to continue. The value of Capitale depends on a certain exclusivity. Understand? Come. I don't know how much you have heard of our ambitious new senator, Anton Ricard. He's an officious, naive man who has yet to learn how politics work. About his grand plans to make Le Moyne the star of the next year's state fair in Sacramento. He has also been making life very difficult for us. Come on. Excuse me for a moment. Oh, forgive me, Signor. I thought we'd be meeting alone. Who is this? He was just arrested by one of my men in the old quarter. I thought you might be interested to see what they found in his possession. How did you come by this? 
You stole it, yes? No, no. Please, senor. Senor Martelli. Do not speak I, my I, name, I, porco. I found it. I swear to you, I on did. Your knees. I did. I found it. I did. On your knees. I swear to you. No, no, please. I, Where did you steal it? I, I promise you that I didn't steal it. I will ask you only one more time. Where did you steal it? R from some of the Cornwall's boys. Le Leviticus Cornwall. Thank you, Chief. I trust this man will face the full penalty of the law. Most assuredly, Signor. Good. Proceed. Was there, uh, anything else? No, I think that was enough, don't you? Yes, sir. So, to my proposition. You will find beads like that one as far from here as New Austin, if you know where to look. I need every piece of capital taken out of circulation and returned to me. I warn you, some of this work will require a strong constitution. In return, I will reward you with a unique business opportunity involving our friend, the Senator Ricard. But that is for later. I wish to see the quality of your work before I reveal my hand. I'm sure you understand. Now, it is best we do not meet again. All further communication will be through my intermediaries. Some of them are friends of yours already. I believe Mr. Foreman, Mr. Langton. In any case, bring them enough capital to impress me, and I assure you, it will be worth your while. Now, if you excuse me, buona caccia. Okay. Oh. She claimed to be royalty, but uh, had a head the size of a pumpkin. That must have been really something. You made it, huh? Follow me. Now, uh, like I said in my letter, we are going into business. I've been breaking down animals since I was knee-high to a splinter. And I worked as a tanner up in Wisconsin back in the 60s. It's uh, a very long story. So I've got three words for you. Crips Trading Company. Pristine pelts and animal parts for bulk sale. I know the market's there. All I need is a partner. So, I'm thinking, you source the materials. Skins, plumes, horns, and the like. I'll clean them and prep them. Then you go out and make the sale. Hell, we might even eat well out of this for once, too. Wouldn't that be nice? <coughs> Why are you still here with us? Your provisions, Mr. Oh, Crips. Oh, yeah. Right, uh, pack the rest on there, will you? Now, uh, with any opportunity comes risk. The competitors, thieves, me losing interest in the whole idea. But if we combine our talents, we'll be unstoppable. Now, I will require an initial modest investment, of course, startup costs and such like, but you'll recoup that as fast as you can say, hey, Crips, you handsome genius. <laughs> so how about it? Are you in? Oh, I forgot. Uh, not much in the coffers right now, is there? Uh, no problem to pay me later. You know where to find me. Okay. Hold it right there. Are you here to cause trouble or to help me out? Because I've got more than enough trouble, my friend. So, if you intend on annoying me, let me know now so we can step outside. Spare one of us the trouble. Am I making myself understood? Good. Uh, I'll tell you, this whole county is not too keen on civilization. But they will be. If I have to string nine out of ten up, the tenth who remain will live calm and peaceful lives. Calm, peaceful lives where their main form of entertainment is public executions. So be it. I am not a man to be annoyed by the unjust and the uncivilized. Again, for the record, am I being clear? Good. Now, if you're looking to help out a poor town teetering on the abyss, 
I'm always looking for guns to help out. In fact, let me see. Right now, there's some wagons outside need escorting through some dangerous country. Decent fellas. I wish the world were different, but until we make it so, it won't be. Good day to you. Rather be out on the trail than fort it in somewhere. This is nice enough, but I'm already itching to make sure. Let's go, boy. Oh, a bit saddle sore, but it ain't so bad. Oh, and the point I can on this car. This car in there, boy. Jadi cuci ya zin lawi desma. Oh. 
Clem não oslou. Zanebad. Estava na hora de sair da luz. Baixe de tempo, né? يقصوني برا اني جاي اني جاي نولي Oh, 